What's up, y'all? It's your girl, JJ, and I am back with another video. Y'all, I'm coming at y'all with another story time. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl because we on our way to 1300. Okay, so y'all, I don't know what I'm going to title this at all. I really don't. So we're going to just jump right into the story. Okay, y'all, so this story takes place in like 2013, I want to say. It was a long time ago. Okay, so... I'm on the phone with my sister, right? And I'm just telling her how I wanted to be a dancer. And so, I don't know, y'all. I just went through this phase where I used to listen to a lot of Drake. And it was this one song by Drake. And I can't, I don't know why I can't think of the name. And for some reason, I just knew that I wanted to be a dancer. Like, I didn't care about nothing else. I just knew that I wanted to dance like that. And mind you, I don't know how to dance. So, keep that in mind. Okay, so... I'm telling my sister, I'm just like, yeah, I want to come out there and I, I just want to like, I don't know, I want to be a dancer. And she like, and this is my sister Tatiana. Me too, like, girl, I want to do it too. So I'm like, okay, bet, like, I want to put this plan together. Like, I'm really serious about being a dancer. I want to come out there and audition. So we end up telling my other sister, Simone. So we telling her everything and she's just like, okay, well, I'll take y'all to a few clubs. Like, I know a few clubs that y'all could probably go audition at. So y'all, I'm putting this plan in motion, like, it's days going by like it's about three days that went by so i'm talking on the phone with my home girl okay so we're gonna call her dominique that's cute okay and i'm telling her like yeah girl i'm about to go to la over the weekend like i'm about to go audition to be a dancer and so she like girl what i want to go too like i always wanted to be a dancer too so i'm like all right girl okay we got a little crew let's go like i told you i've never been on a plane before so i'm like okay we're going to have to catch the bus out there because I'm not getting on a plane. I'm scared. And my homegirl was like, okay, well, if I catch the bus with you, then I'll just have my friend pay for me a flight to come back home. Because, y'all, she was just coming for the weekend and I was going to stay for like a whole week in weekend. We just talking about it all week. Like, this is really a plan that we really about to do and we serious about it. Like, we dead ass serious about it. I had ordered like some little dancing shoes. Mind y'all. <laughs> I don't know how to dance like y'all got to keep that in mind because I feel like that's the funniest thing of the whole thing so I ordered me some shoes I ordered me like a little fishnet little outfit because I'm like yes I'm about to be on stage looking good like I'm gonna wear the little fishnets with the little heels y'all I still got the heels too that's why it's so funny but anyways so Friday come I'm all Dominique and I'm like um you know what time you gonna make it out here and she like okay i'm about to be on my way da, 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 da. it's gonna take me like 30 45 minutes mind y'all i was telling her like i want to be on time like i don't want to miss the bus because they do not play like when you go to catch the bus anywhere like greyhound or any of those type of buses you have to be there on time they barely have like i want to say maybe a five to ten minute grace period maybe because you know they're on schedule so they're always on the go so i'm telling her like you know like i want to be there at least like 30 minutes early like at least so we can get in line because the lines be long i want to be able to get a good seat she's like okay girl like i'm gonna be there time was going by and i'm just like damn like where is she at like girl i don't want to have to leave you on this trip like you gonna have to get out here and get out here now so my mama just like, okay, like, you know, it's getting time. We still got to drive. That's still like a 20 minute drive. Like you got to factor in all of that. Like you going, you know, they going to um, leave if you're not there on time. So I'm calling her and I'm just like, where you at? She like, girl, it's traffic. I'm on my way. Y'all, this was the first red flag. This was the first red flag. So I'm just like, oh my God, like, I don't want to be, you know, like, I don't want to miss the bus. Cause then, you know, we have to pay for it all over again. I don't know if they're going to refund us. So, y'all, she finally gets there. And when I say finally get there, she finally gets there. Let's say our bus was leaving at 7 a.m., y'all, and we got to drive 20 minutes out. She got there at, like, 6.30. So, I'm already mad. Like, I'm already mad because I know the drive is about to be 20 minutes. So, I'm just, like, irritated. And at this point, y'all, I get so mad, I just be like, I don't even want to go. So, y'all, I was so irritated, but I'm just like, you know what? I call my sister. I'm just like, girl, like... I'm irritated like I want to just cancel the whole damn trip or just leave her and she's just like you know just calm down it's okay like y'all gonna make it so I'm just like okay whatever thank god my mama's a NASCAR driver because she got us there in like 15 minutes like probably 10 I don't know but she got us there on time the bus was running a little bit late so I thank god for that too like the bus was probably like 10 minutes late so I'm like, whoo, by the grace of God, we got there. We was able to stand in line. Y'all, we get on the bus. We got a good seat. We was able to sit next to each other. And they basically was saying like, um, 
that there was going to be like some type of detour and we would have to get on the train to finish out the rest of the trip and i'm just like what in the hell mind you i had never been on a train at least not for that long so i'm like okay whatever you know that's cool so the bus trip originally probably was going to be about like seven to eight hours y'all we get on this train why the train legit said it was going to be a 10 hour ride 10 hours so y'all can y'all imagine how irritated i was this was red flag number two should have called my mom and told my mom come get me so y'all, this is red flag number two, but I'm just so determined. I'm just like, you know what? We didn't make it this far. Like we might as well just go. Like we might as well just get on and go. I'm telling Dominique, I'm like, girl, we just gonna go to sleep. And when we wake up, that's just what it is. So y'all, we get on there, we knock out cause it was early in the morning. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's make the best of it. We'll get there when we get there. Everything happens for a reason. So I'm telling my sister, like, change your plans. We're not getting out there at the time that we thought we was. Like, now we about to be on this long-ass train ride. So um, I'm telling my sister, and she's just like, okay, cool. Well, uh, by the time y'all get out here, we can just go to, like, this little after-hour spot. And I'm like, okay, cool. Because, y'all, we wasn't going to just go straight to being, you know, dancers. We was like, you know, we're going to chill. Like, it was going to be a fun little trip where, you know, we do go audition to be some dancers. So I'm telling Dominique, like, yeah, girl, we're going to go out tonight, da 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 ba 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 And she's like, okay, cool. But she was like, dang, I only bought, like, dancing outfits and, like, regular clothes. Like, I didn't know we was going to go out, out, like, you know, like, to a club. Like, I want to look good. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why would you want to bring dancing clothes? Like, yeah, this was a trip that we was going to go, you know, in audition. But it's like, girl, what, you was just going to be walking around with dancer clothes on, like, make it make sense and whatever clothes that you brought so i'm like okay so i'm telling my sister she's like okay we can go to um you know like our favorite store on crenshaw and imperial so i'm like okay we can go to our little clothing store so y'all i'm happy because every time i came to la i love going to that store to go buy something and get something super cute i'm telling her i'm like okay well my sister gonna take us by you know this little store they got some nice little clothes in there you can find something to wear and you know problem solved so she like, okay, cool. Like, all right. So y'all, we go back to sleep because <laughs> we just slept. Like we really just like would wake up, go back to sleep, wake up and go back to sleep. So then we arrive in LA. Y'all, I was so happy. Y'all understand. I was so happy to finally get to the destination because I was just like, this was the longest train ride in my life. Like, <sighs> so my sister pick us up. We go straight to the house. We shower, we freshen up and we go get something to eat and then we go to the store so you know we in there we looking at stuff y'all i'm cheap i'm not finna run up in no store and just be spending like just way too much money no i want a deal i like a sale so i'm looking through stuff i see leggings because back then y'all all i wore was leggings like just leggings so i find me some cute little leggings so i'm like okay bet i could wear these with my little shoes i have some little boots like i don't know if y'all remember them little boots it was like they had them little boots and they had like little spiky thingies all over them and they'd be like brown black red like they had different colors but it had these little spikes so i'm like okay i already got my boots because y'all had my outfits packed and i had plenty of outfits because i overpack i'm the overpacker but i'm like okay i see something cute so i'm just gonna grab it so y'all i spend ten dollars that's it ten dollars i already had my little lingerie little cheetah <laughs> i had a little cheetah little um lingerie top and i was like okay i'll wear the brown boots because that matched the shirt with some black leggings simple y'all dominique up in the store just grabbing stuff like she's just grabbing stuff she like oh this is cute they don't have no clothes like this in the bag oh oh and she just like jay look like oh this is cute it's gonna be cute on me huh girl like look at this and i'm just looking at her like yeah girl like yeah so you know, get get just get you get what you need, whatever. So we get to the register. This girl done spent a hundred dollars that fast. We ain't even been in LA an hour and you done already spent a hundred dollars. And it was okay because I'm like, whatever, you know, do what you do. That's your money. You spend it how you want to spend it. I'm not a, a you know a pocket checker or nothing like that. But you know, we did come out here to make money, so I'm assuming that you don't have much. So and I'm just assuming. So then, y'all, we go back to the house. We get dressed. I'm doing everybody makeup. Dominique doing her own makeup. I'm doing my sister Tatiana makeup. I'm doing some own makeup. So, you know, getting us all together. We get ready. Y'all, 
we about to walk out the door. So everybody walking out the door and Dominique had left something. So she was like, okay, I'm a, um, y'all can go to the car. She was like, that she gonna grab what she needed. And so Simone told her and my sister Tatiana told her, okay, make sure you lock the back door. You coming out the back door. So make sure you lock it. So we in the car, we all just waiting. So she comes out, Dominique gets in the car. And before we drive off, we are literally in the driveway, y'all. Simone was like, Dominique, did you lock the back door? And she was like, mm-hmm, yeah, I did. So we like, okay. And so, I don't know, maybe it was the intuition, maybe it was intuition with my sister, Tatiana, but she was just like, oh, I forgot. It was something she forgot, but she was like, I gotta go get it real quick. So, y'all, she goes, and she go grab what she needed, and she texts me. She was so mad. She texts me. She was like, this bitch, Dominique, left the back door open. Y'all, she left it open and not only did she leave it open, she left the the um the wooden door unlocked. So Tatiana is mad. Like she's mad as fuck. She's like, this bitch is weird. She mad as fuck because you know at this time both my sisters live with our grandparents. So it's like, girl, you're leaving the door unlocked when we already told you to make sure you lock it. And it's just our grandma and grandpa in the house. Like Come on now. Y'all, I swear in that moment, I was just like, why did I bring her? Mind you, me and Dominique was cool. We never had no problems, never had no issues. She was cool as hell. So I'm just like, what's up with her? So then we get in the car, we leave. You know, I'm looking at Simone because I'm in the front seat and Dominique and my sister Tatiana, they in the back seat. And Simone just like looking at me like, <laughs> like, why did you bring this bitch to me? So she like, all right, we just gonna go. We can go get us some shots. Y'all want a shots or something? Like y'all want to drink something before we go to the after hours? And at this time, y'all, I did not drink. Like I, mm -mm, I did not mess with liquor. But I'm just like, okay, well, if we all gonna be taking the shots. And mind you, Dominique, she love to drink. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. We can get us some shots. So we get some shots, and you know, I babysit because y'all alcohol was just disgusting to me back then. I just couldn't take it. So then we get our shots, and then we go to the after hours. We get out the car, y'all. We walk into the after hour spot. And when I tell y'all, it was full of just straight. Let me stop talking bad about people. Y'all, everybody in there was just so raggedy. So we thought we was the shit. I ain't gonna lie. We looked really, really good. And, you know, it's all four of us. We looking cute. We got our best of our little cute little outfits on. Everybody in there not dressed up like us. Mind y'all, we got on heels. I had on my little booty heels. Simone had on some like stiletto heels. Dominique had on her heels. And my other sister Tatiana had on heels too. So we the only ones with heels. And I'm just like, Simone, I thought you said like this was a, like a, like a little bar clubby type of thing. You know, like I thought that's what you said. And she was like, well, I didn't know nobody wasn't going to be wearing no heels. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Y'all, we up in there turning up. We up in there dancing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Simone and my other sister Tatiana was mad as hell because Dominique had like this long wig. And so when she was dancing, she was just like swinging her hair, like smacking him in the hair, smacking him in the face with her hair. And they was so irritated. Like they was so mad. And I'm just dancing, y'all. I'm in my own little world. One thing about it, baby, I'm gonna turn up. So I'm in there dancing. I'm doing my little moves and stuff, y'all. I'm over there thinking I'm doing it. Y'all, my sister Tatiana, she just like this. She just got her hands crossed, her arms crossed, and she just looking around. Like, she just scanning the room. And I'm just like, I'm telling Simone, like, what's up with her? Like, why is she, why is she standing there just, you know, watching everything? She was like, girl, I don't know. So I go with my sister. I'm like, girl, why are you not dancing? She was like, I'm just watching because I see these bitches. I see all these bitches just looking at us. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, girl, we came here to have fun. Like, what's, like, calm down. It, it's good. We, we're, we're just having fun. So then she finally warm up and, you know, we just all just dancing. Like, we having a great time. So we turning up. Next thing you know, y'all, I do my little move. So it's this little move, dance move that I think that I be just, I don't know. I probably be looking dumb. But in my mind, I'm like top-notch stripper shaking ass that I don't really have. But, you know, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. So, y'all, it's this move that I do where I bend over, I touch the ground, and I just shake my ass. Like, and it probably don't even be moving, but... So yeah, I do my little move, right? Next, you know, everybody, all the girls, they just start smacking my booty. Like a whole bunch of girls, I'm in a circle and they just like smacking my butt. Simone started doing the move too. So we over there just doing our little moves and everybody just smacking on our booties and stuff. So then, you know, I finally get up because shit, by then it's hot. Like y'all, it is burning up. It's hot. We've been dancing for like a good 20 minutes. You know, like we need some air. So Simone was like, okay, 
y'all let's go in the back let's go in the back and just like sit down and you know get some air so someone grabs my hand and so she's leading the way and i'm holding her arm like this like we're holding hands and i'm holding her arm and like we're leading and i'm trying to like um grab on to my sister and dominique like try to so we can all like go through you know go through everybody so y'all i hear this boy and he was just like damn you look good as fuck mind you i didn't see him at all i'm already like he's here i'm already i didn't already walk past him but i heard him like yeah damn you fine as fuck yeah you look good as fuck yeah oh yeah let me talk to you so y'all by the time he said let me talk to you mind you simone is pulling me so i'm already pretty much walking past him y'all let me let me take a drink i gotta take a drink to this part y'all why the hell this man literally takes his whole hand and i had a weave in my head and you know a normal person would have just like pulled here or pulled my punch y'all this man stuck his hand so deep like he stuck his hand in my tracks like where my tracks and my braids was at that's how deep he stuck his hands inside my damn weave and yanked me by my hair <sighs> It is funny now, but back then, y'all, it wasn't funny at all. Like, it it wasn't funny. So, he yanks me by my hair, and I pull my head back. So, I'm like, what the fuck? So, I turn around, and I look at him. And before I could say anything, y'all, before I could even open my mouth, he had his face all twisted, and he was like, you act like I'm ugly or something. You act like I'm ugly or something. And I was just like thinking in my mind like sir you are ugly but you're crazy too and i'm crazy but not this crazy you're not about to punch me in the face and start beating me up in the club like no so i'm just like y'all i'm like at this point i'm mad but i'm also like i know how to play with crazy people i'm not about to play with this man so i was just like no like it's hot so i'm like waving my hands like this i'm like no it's like hot in here like i'm i'm just about to go outside to get some air and he was just like looking at me like y'all he wanted to punch me like he wanted to dead ass like punch me in my face like i could tell like just the look in his eyes his eyes was like i don't know y'all he was high off some shit you could tell like you know when somebody is high off something and he most definitely was high off something and i didn't want to know what so i'm just like oh hell no so i'm telling simone i'm like bitch did you see that nigga he literally just pulled me by my tracks i said he didn't pull me by the ends of my weave mind you my weave was long i'm like he didn't pull me by the end of my weave this nigga put his hands in my fucking wig my my weave and pulled and she was just like girl oh my god like i'm sorry i knew this place was ghetto but i didn't know it was gonna be this ghetto like if you want to leave it's cool like we could just leave and i'm just like no it's cool like you know like we could chill a little bit longer like i'm not tripping i'm just like i don't want to dance by him though like wherever we go i want to be like on the other side like i don't want to be on the side he was at so we outside for a minute and you know dudes is walking up to us saying stuff to us or whatever so then dominique dominique she we all was at one table some guy come up to dominique and he talking to her so she gets up and she goes to the table with him mind you y'all dominique was loud as hell like uh, don't get me wrong i'm loud too but her ass was just sitting there like oh my god ah, i'm from the bay da, da, da. And i'm just like god like why are you screaming like we are not an inside the club we're on the outside of the club like he can hear you if you just talk normal you don't have to be sitting there screaming at that man like what's going on and so Simone just like this bitch is embarrassing and I'm just like y'all she just a little loud like it's a, it's okay she just a little loud but y'all I'm embarrassed because I'm just like girl everybody is looking at us we're looking at you yell at this damn man so y'all I'm just like okay let's go back in the club <laughs> this bitch is embarrassing so I told Dominique I'm like girl we gonna go back in the club come on let's go she's like okay so she ended up giving to do her number and then we end up going back inside the club well the after hours whatever you want to call it we should have left like that's when we should have fucking left we just like dancing some more you know we having fun but I'm like low-key like acting like my sister I'm looking around and shit because I'm looking for that nigga like no nah, you nigga you're not about to pull me by my hair again why well, ain't paying attention so a nigga walk up and I mean his face is completely covered in tattoos like i think even his nose was tatted i don't know but he had a whole face full of tattoos and so his friends was like my homie want to know if y'all want to go out so i'm just sitting there looking like 
no we don't want to fucking go out with him because y'all i was used to seeing people with tattoos on their face but not like that like it was just wild and so he's not saying a word like he's literally not saying one word he's just standing there like just staring and so simone like ebony because they my other side of my family they call me ebony so so someone like ebony you want to go out to eat with them and i'm just like girl no but i'm just like if you want to go but y'all i'm trying to give her all the faces to kind of like let her know like no i don't want to go but i can't because he's literally standing right here so i'm just like um if you want to go and she's like okay yeah we can go she i'm like damn you didn't even ask tatiana you didn't even ask dominique like you just only asked me it was just like yeah let's go so they talking for the boy he not saying a word like not once did i hear this man say a word the whole time that he was standing there so they was like okay well after the club we can go out to eat so they walk off and i'm like bitch i don't want to go nowhere with him like did you see him he look crazy as hell she's like girl we gonna have fun it's cool we gonna have fun so she's telling dominique and she's telling our sister tatiana like yeah y'all we gonna go out to eat they said they're gonna take us out to eat afterwards and so my sister tatiana just looking and dominique just looking too like okay whatever we gonna go and i'm just like oh lord jesus i gotta make it home back to my baby like y'all oh lord so we like okay so we dancing for a minute you know people coming up to us i'm still looking for the nigga like i'm still you know looking for him because he's not about to snatch me up once again so we left a little bit early because you know someone was like you know they be shooting up here so we're gonna leave like 15 minutes early we ended up like texting the boys who gave us, you know, that we exchanged numbers with and stuff. And so we just like, it's already late, like, no. So we ended up going to the house. Mind you, my sister Tatiana, she had her youngest, my youngest nephew. So at this time, I want to say he was probably about like three or four. So of course they shared the room and we was going to be sleeping in there on, um, on her extra bed. So we in there, Dominique sees my nephew is sleeping. Like she sees he's asleep. You know, my sister getting ready. We all getting ready for bed, blah, blah, blah. Somebody calls her phone. Dominique is loud as fuck on the phone. Mind you, it's probably like one in the morning and she is loud as hell on the phone. And she just like talking just so damn loud. And I'm just like, Dominique, like, you know, like my grandma and my grandpa are sleeping. Like, can you kind of keep it down or go to the back? Like, go to one of the back bathrooms or something or go outside in the back. I don't know. But, girl, you're too fucking loud. You need to shut the fuck up. Like, at this point, I'm irritated with her because I'm just like, girl, you don't have to scream every time you talk. Like, it's okay. You don't, you don't have to scream. So, I go in Simone's room and I'm just talking to her and I'm just like, girl... Whew, I'm ready for this bitch to leave. And she like, okay, so what day y'all want to go audition? Because I'm ready <laughs> I'm ready to take y'all tomorrow because it's starting to get annoying. Like, she is loud as fuck. She annoying as fuck. She left the damn back door open. Like, after we asked her, did she lock it? She lied and said she did. So I'm just like, I know, like, I know. So I'm already regretting, like, damn, I should have never brought her. But I'm just like, okay, we still need to get to the audition. Like, do what we came here to do. So someone was like okay like tomorrow let's just go to like this one club you know i'm pretty sure y'all can get hired there like let's just go there so um the next day come you know we all just chilling we all just talking we get ourselves ready for the day and we're just like okay like we're gonna go get something to eat i don't know who left some shit up in Simone's car mind y'all this is when Simone had first that had just got her first car so she had just paid cash for her first car right Dominique had left her trash in the car so when I go in the living room I'm like Simone like you know like what we gonna do da, da, da. and she was just like y'all bitches not getting in my car no more I'm like what I do like <laughs> what did i do she's like somebody left trash in my car i'm like well i was in the front seat so it couldn't have been me she was like yeah i don't know i think it was dominique da, 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 da. i think she left some trash in my car like that's hella trifling that's hella trifling that's nasty like she could have took her trash out like how you leave your bag of food like with food still in it leave your trash in my car and i'm just like oh my god this bitch is really like she's already ruining my trip little things like just little things that was just like irritating as fuck but i'm just like whatever so someone was mad so she ended up just leaving and going to go get a car wash and i'm just like oh my god how the hell are we gonna get around because <laughs> she was our driver so 
I'm telling them, I'm like, who left trash in there? And Dominique was like, oh, I'm sorry. That was me. I forgot to grab it. Blah, 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 blah. She was like, tell her I'll pay for her car wash. I'm like, she already left. You know, like, she already left to go get her car wash. So she was like, damn, I feel bad, you know? And so she was like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, me too. <laughs> I'm hungry too. So she was like, uh, what's like, what can we eat around here? And y'all, I grew up in that area. So I didn't think nothing of it. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together and think, I, I think I'm an airhead at times. So I'm like, okay, it's McDonald's, it's Jack in the Box, it's Wingstop. Like it's a few little things that's like literally like probably not even a five to seven minute walk. So I'm like, um, we could just walk there it's like not that far so she's like okay like let's go to mcdonald's so i'm like all right we can go y'all so we start walking down the street and i promise y'all right before we turn like we t <laughs> right before we made a left i forgot that this main street in la is the hostro like i forgot like i totally i don't know how i could forget but it's just like like i said i grew up in this area so like Right when I turned right there, I wasn't thinking nothing of it because all the hoes normally be like way down some more. So I'm just like, I'm just walking. We walk like, I promise y'all, we literally stepped foot. Like we just had hit the corner, like just hit the corner. And some niggas ride by in a Range Rover. And they're like, hey, 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 like, what's up? Like, y'all beautiful as fuck. Like, what's up? And so Dominique like, hey, I don't know why in my mind, I'm not thinking like we're on the whole stro. Like I was not, mind you, we fully clothed. We, did, we didn't look like hoes. We didn't, none of that. The niggas pull over. They get out the car. They talking to us. So one talking to her and one talking to me. Mind you, they look like some decent guys, you know. So she exchanged her number with the dude and I, I give the other guy my number. They like, okay, like, hit me up, da, da, da. So we text them, and they just like, what y'all doing later on tonight? And we just like, oh, well, we going to go to, I think we just told them, like, we're going to just be out. Like, we out here for a couple of days, and we just going to go out later on tonight, like, to the casino or something like that. So um, they're like, well, can y'all come see us? Like, we want to see y'all later on. Like, what's up? Like, can we link up? She was like, yeah, girl, I want to see him. Like, oh, he was fine. Did you see his car? Like, oh, yeah, I only been in L.A. for only a day, and I'm already pulling niggas and da 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 And I'm just like, yeah, girl, oh, my God. Like, I'm happy for her, but I'm just like, I didn't mind giving my, I didn't mind giving niggas my number because I wasn't in a relationship. I was kind of like going through whatever you want to call it. I wasn't really tripping. So, um yeah we get to mcdonald's we get our food we get back to the house <laughs> you know we get back to the house and i'm telling my sister tatiana like oh yeah we just met some niggas like da 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 we can see if they got some friends like if y'all want to link with them da 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 and she's like oh okay and um she's like yeah we could probably like link with them like we could tell someone like let's go later on that's like that's somebody we could pull up on so i'm texting the nigga and he just telling me like like you're beautiful as fuck you're pretty as fuck um how many kids you got like we're getting to know each other and he was just like yeah i got five baby mamas <laughs> sir excuse me i only have one kid you have five baby mamas he was like yeah but it's not gonna be a problem like they it's no drama no nothing you know like we just co-parent but yeah i got five baby mamas seven kids y'all i'm in my mind like <laughs> I'm about to be your sixth baby mama but y'all i swear i'm not the type for some reason i just don't judge people i don't judge people and i don't judge their situations in most cases i should judge people and i should judge their situations because i most definitely should have judged that situation and been like yeah no i'm good black because bro what so he just like yeah i'm a scammer i do this i do that like what do you do and we just like going back and forth when we talking so i'm just like whatever it won't hurt to just talk to somebody with five baby mamas and seven kids right so Simone get back and I tell her like, you know, what happened? She in a better mood. She didn't ate, you know, she in a way better mood. So I tell her what happened. She's just like, okay, cool. Like I'll take y'all to go see them. And then we can go um, to the auditions after and then whatever else we want to do. Like maybe, you know, like I said, the casino. So she like, okay, cool. Cause Simone is, she was, she's down for a turn up no matter what. Okay. So y'all, 
we get ready we texting the boys we like okay so where y'all want to link they're like okay well y'all want to link like um they was just like saying like this parking lot i forgot where i can't think of exactly where but it was just like a parking lot they was like yeah we can meet in the public place like they wasn't on no weird shit i will say that we pull up we get out the car mind you it was just them two they didn't bring no friends no nothing my two sisters stayed in the car and then me and dominique get out we go over there to their car and we're just talking to them and they were just like yeah what y'all doing like y'all want to come over like i can come to our house and we can cook for y'all i'm just like oh no it's cool like i got my two sisters in the car because i'm letting them know like we are not alone like no and dominique over there on the other side on the passenger side telling him like yeah we can come over oh yeah bitch that sounds fun like oh y'all can cook for us what you gonna cook for us what you gonna cook for us oh i like that like y'all she was like don't get me wrong she was the sweetest person but she was just too fucking friendly like she was way too fucking friendly like that's the only thing that i couldn't stand about her like she was just like this happy friendly person that sometimes she didn't i don't think she kind of understood what was going on so i'm just like yeah no my sisters is in the car you know i would have to check with them first and she's just like dang bitch that sounds fun though. i'm sure they'll be down like i'm sure they wouldn't mind and i'm just like yeah but i still want to check with them first you know like my sister she just started driving like i don't want to be you know having her drive all around the world because they were saying that they lived in the hills and they was like y'all can just get in our car and just come with us and i was like yeah no because you know um my nephew my sister got to be able to get to my nephew whenever my grandparents call you know like yeah no we ain't gonna be able to do that so y'all dominique seemed like she was disappointed like she seemed like she was so mad like and i'm just thinking to myself like girl are you serious we don't know these niggas at all so i'm just like um yeah we gotta go like we can link you know i'm gonna talk to my sisters and stuff but you know like let's just probably just you know link up later i'm just telling them this so we can get the fuck away because at this point i'm just like girl these niggas is weird i don't i'm sorry but if a nigga first meet me and he wants me to get in his car and just drive no that's that's kind of iffy so um we back back to the car and i'm telling my sister what happened and they like well where did y'all meet them i know y'all said y'all was walking to mcdonald's where did y'all meet them and i'm like well we met them on the hostel and so Simone and Tatiana start dying laughing. They was like, so y'all met them on the whole show? Them niggas could be pimps. Y'all, at that moment, I just kind of was like, oh shit, you're right. Those could be pimps. Like y'all, I was so mad. Cause I'm like, where the fuck was my thinking cap? Like how the hell I didn't put two and two together and make four? Like, how like how did i really just damn near <sighs> y'all i was so irritated with myself because i'm just like damn i'm just over here just acting like an airhead like i'm just lottie dotty dotty in my world so y'all at that moment i was like yeah no <laughs> i'm never meeting with them again like i'm good like mm -mm, no y'all dominique was just like they was cool though like they was so cool i wouldn't mind you know like they don't seem like they was pimps though like i don't think that they were pimps and i'm just like girl please i'm not i'm not about to chance it like no i'm not about to chance it at all i'm cool you meet somebody on the host road, like yeah i don't give a damn if we was only one foot on the damn main street like no i'm not linking with them niggas at all like hell no and i'm happy that we linked in a parking lot so y'all dominique just seemed like she was mad like she just got on her phone and i just saw her just like texting away like she was irritated and i'm just thinking to myself like bitch you can go back to the fucking house and leave so someone was like okay well do y'all want to go audition like y'all ready to audition yet like what's up so i'm just like at this point yeah let's go y'all so we already had our little dancing outfits so y'all we already had our little dancing outfits and we had our shoes we had everything already in the trunk so i'm just like you know what i gotta put my big girl panties on and we gotta just do it like we we gotta do what we came out here for so on our way there y'all i'm nervous like i'm over there like nervous hands sweating like y'all when i get nervous i start sweating so i'm just like fuck i gotta calm down like i can't be over here sweating like i gotta calm down so we pull up, you know, I'm listening to that Drake song, y'all. I'm mad because I really can't think of that song. But if I think about it, I'm a, I don't know why. I got to listen to the Take Care album so I can remember it. But so, y'all, I'm listening to that song. I'm telling Simone, like, put it on repeat. Put it on repeat. Like, this is my song. This is my song. <laughs> y'all, I know she was so annoyed because, y'all, I really feel like this song, I don't know what type of world that I lived in. So then we arrived to the club, right? So we get to the club y'all we get out the car we walk through the doors we get through the doors right when we get through the doors it's this club i can't think of it it's called king henry 
King Henry, right? So we get to King Henry, we go through the door. Right when you come in, you turn like left, like you turn left and it's like a man with like a um glass little thingy like behind the glass and so uh we was just like we smiling because y'all we all like happy but nervous and i'm just like yeah we here to audition and so the guy looks at us and he looked at all of us y'all like he literally like looked us up and down because mind y'all dominique is tall so he looked at her looked at me looked at simone and looked at my sister tatiana and he just starts laughing like y'all this man just started just laughing so damn hard like i don't know if he thought we was part of the circus or what like i don't know what he thought but y'all he just started laughing so damn hard like as if we said a joke and we was just you know like we came here as a comedy show i was just like so like i'm just like okay so like do we get to audition like what's so funny you know like i'm sitting there lost like why is he laughing and so Simone was like, y'all, let's just go. <laughs> like, let's just leave. So y'all, we end up leaving and I'm just like, what the fuck was that about? And everybody, we just like, oh, he was weird as fuck. Like y'all, we just talking shit like, he was weird as fuck. Like he's weird. Like what was the reason? Like, why did he just start laughing at us? And I'm just like, what the fuck did he do? Like y'all, we really don't know why this man was laughing at us. But when I look back, I could totally understand why he was laughing at us. First of all, we wasn't dressed to audition, even though you don't have to get dressed, like come in there dressed. But it's just like, we probably looked crazy. Like we probably did look crazy. So y'all, our spirits is down. Like we're sad as fuck. Like at that point I was cool on dancing. I didn't want to audition. I didn't want to do nothing. Like I was good. Cause I'm just like, that was embarrassing as fuck. Like y'all, my whole dancing, my dancing I don't know what I had in my mind. My fairy tale dance life like was out the window at that point. And I did not give a fuck about dancing no more. I was like, I'm cool. I don't want to do it. Like this man laughed at us. Like clearly that's the reason not to do it. So I'm just like, whatever. I I'm cool. So someone was like, y'all, let's just go to the casino. Like, let's go to the casino. We could take some cute pictures. You know, we could gamble. Like, let's just go. So we get to the casino. Y'all, we having fun. We walking around. Like, I'm looking around like, y'all, it was just so... so <laughs> It was just so fun. So we just like having a great time, like just looking around. Mind you, didn't know how to, I don't think none of us, I think Dominique, Dominique knew how to gamble, but me, Simone and Tatiana didn't. I don't even know why we went to the goddamn casino. I really don't. So we in there, yo, we started taking pictures in the bathroom. So we taking pictures in the bathroom. We just taking so many pictures. I do have a picture from that night, I think. I don't know. But so we taking pictures and then we taking a group picture and then this lady come in that worked there and she's like, Oh, you y'all want me to take a picture for y'all? So we like, yeah. So she take a pictures take a picture of us and then we took another picture where she's in our picture too. It's so fucking funny. So she's in the picture too. And y'all, that mess was so funny. So we go out. Mind y'all, we still just mingling around, just walking around. Dominique, she started gambling a little bit, but then she had lost some money, so she stopped. And I was cool. I'm like, I'm good. I don't know how I'm about to play. I'm about to lose no money. I'm cool. I came out here to make money, not lose it. So y'all, I didn't know. Well, none of us knew. We didn't know that you're not supposed to take pictures in a casino. I still think that's so dumb. But you're not supposed to take pictures in the casino, and we didn't know. Y'all, why are we in there big flicking it up? Like, we in there, like, just big flicking, just taking pictures. Simone, I'm taking pictures of her. So then it's my turn. She taking pictures of me, y'all. She got to, like, probably her third picture of me. And some guy walked up to us, and he was like, no pictures, no pictures. Y'all can't take pictures in the casino. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's stupid as fuck. Like, why we can't take pictures in the casino? Like, that's dumb as fuck. And he was just like, y'all can't take pictures. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, <laughs> y'all, he well, he's walking away, right? I'm like, Simone, still take some pictures of me. I don't care. So, y'all, I'm just posing for my pictures. So, then he come back. He was like, y'all got to go. Y'all got to leave. Like, y'all have to leave. And we was so mad. Like, y'all, I still was like, take some pictures of me. So, then we just like, okay, like, what are we going to do now? Like, I'm not going to go audition at another club. I'm cool. Um, Casino just kicked us out. Like, what we about to do? So, then, y'all, we end up going to TakeOver. And TakeOver is basically like a car show where everybody do the donuts and stuff so we end up going to take over and you know we just like chilling and just like watching all the cars and whatnot we getting out the car people talking to us we going to the next location we end up going to the gas station because that was like one of the locations before they found another location y'all like we didn't get into the house until late as hell so then we end up going in the house so by now it's early sunday morning so 
we get in bed, you know, we lay down, blah, 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 go to sleep, wake up the next day. So Simone was telling us like, okay, well today, if y'all, do y'all want to go audition again? And at that point, I was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> This has been a crazy two days. I've only been in LA for two days. I didn't got my hair pulled, got kicked out of the casino. Um, they laughed at us when we went to go audition at the strip club. Like, I'm cool. I don't want to. I'm good. I'm good on auditioning. But, you know, like, let's do something fun. Because at this point, I'm just like, I want to do something fun now. Like, something really, really fun. So, someone was like, okay. Well, uh, my homie... You know, he said that if we come to his house, like we could chill over there and then he'll invite his cousins over and we could just like chill, drink, smoke, whatever we want to do. So I'm like, okay, that sounds fun. I'm like, all right, we could do that. So um, she telling us the stuff. So we all like, okay, bet. So we all agree. So we all agreed to do it. And um, yeah, at this point, Dominique was just like, I need to go find something else to wear. Like, the stuff that I bought is cute, but I want to save that until I get back home to the bay. Like, I want to go back and buy some more stuff. So, um, I'm just like, okay, Simone, like, do you need to go get another outfit? Because Dominique want to know if you could take her back over there to get some. So, Simone was just like, okay, yeah, but, you know, um, it's going to have to be, like, a little bit later because I have to go do something. So, I'm like, okay, that's cool. So, we all just chilling and um, relaxing and stuff and just, like, vibing. And so, uh, Simone leaves. She come back. So, by the time she came back, we was already ready to go. So, we go to the store. Dominique just looking at stuff, y'all. She just grabbing stuff. She like, oh, can I get this in a size small? Oh, can I get that? Can I get this? Y'all, she just spending money. Like, she just spending money on different clothes and i'm just thinking to myself like girl you have enough like you don't and she was like dang i need to get me a new wig so she gonna next door to the beauty supply she bought her a new wig so i'm just like okay you know mind you i'm not spending no money because like i said i already had everything i needed for this trip so if i bought something it'd be like just like something cheap i didn't really need anything like I, i'm always that person with clothes so i didn't really need any more clothes or shoes because i overpacked all my outfits was cute they was all hand picked handcrafted so, I'm just like, okay, blah, blah, blah. She get all her stuff that she needed. We end up leaving. We go back to the house. Everybody shower. I'm doing everybody makeup again. She doing her makeup. She throwing her new wig. You know, I'm pressing out my leave out, burning the hell out my leave out, y'all. So, you know, we getting ready. Simone got ready. My sister Tatiana got ready. So, then we head over to the boy house. So, we're not going to get a boy a name. We're just going to call him simone's friend so simone's friend um he ended up coming outside greeting us so he was just like yeah hey y'all da, 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 da. i'm simone's friend blah 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 um right now uh it's just me here my brother is asleep but i'm gonna call my cousins they gonna come over so uh we like okay cool so y'all throughout the whole trip like she just kept talking about the nigga in the range rover like she just would not get over how she just really just wanted to see him, how she wanted to link with him. I'm just like, girl, we don't want to link with him. Like, I, well, I don't want to link with them. Like, what is your problem? Like, these niggas could be pimps and you still want to link with them. So he ended up flaking on her and didn't come see her. And uh, she was just like, yeah, he probably come tonight. He going to pick me up. And he said he going to take me to, to the airport because, y'all, she was leaving Monday. She only came from Friday to Monday. So she was saying how he was going, you know, the dude in the Range Rover was going to, pick her up and she was gonna spend a night with him and he was gonna take her to san diego the next morning so she can catch her flight back home to the bay and i'm just like girl no like i don't we don't know him i don't want you spending the night with somebody that you just met like no like hell no girl you ain't finna go missing on a trip with me and i gotta tell everybody back home that you didn't went missing like girl no we're not doing that hell no so i didn't know that she kept telling simone like oh you don't have to give me a ride in the morning because he gonna give me a ride and i'm me i didn't know that she didn't say that to me she only said that to simone right so in my mind i'm thinking we can't stay out too late but if we do stay out too late then we can just probably just go home get her stuff then drop her off at the airport so that's what i'm thinking in my mind so i'm like okay plan cool she could leave because i ain't gonna lie she wasn't irritating us too well to me too much because of course i was used to her but she was doing like little shit like girl why every time you get on the phone you gotta talk loud like why you don't have to talk loud every single time you get on the phone so i'm just like okay we in there we chilling so right when we get through the door some old friend was like um okay like my cousins will be here in about like 10 minutes y'all get comfortable take off your shoes do what y'all need to do it's cool 
So we like, okay, cool. Like we sitting in the living room, y'all. They had a nice big old TV. It was a nice apartment too. And I'm like, okay, y'all, I get comfortable. Take off my shoes. I'm sitting on the couch with my feet up. Like I'm relaxing. Everybody just chilling, relaxing, all that. So the cousins come and the cousins don't need a name. We can just call them the cousins. So the cousins come and as soon as the cousins come, they go and sit behind us at a table. So they're in back of us and we're like at the in the living room on the couch so our back is turned against them so then Simone's friend is like okay well y'all give me y'all purses I'm gonna go put them in the room and I'm just looking at him like what do you mean give like no I'm not giving you my purse like what do you need my purse for my purse is right here on my lap and you know you don't need my purse he was just like oh no just because you know um I don't want nothing to happen to y'all purses you know just so everything is cool let's just put y'all stuff in the room and I thought that was weird because I'm just like you want to take our purses and put them in there with your brother that is sleeping that's kind of weird to me but I'm just like you know what whatever so we all give them our purses I then nobody stole nothing though y'all nobody stole anything I will put that out there nobody stole nothing but still we put our purses in the room so then we just like chilling you know they smoking I hit the weed a little bit because this is when I smoked but I didn't like to smoke too much so you know I hit the weed a little bit they had drink I didn't drink but Dominique you know she was pretty much the one that drink and then Simone she had her a cup too my other sister Tatiana she just smoked so you know we just like just chilling and stuff so then so my old friend was just like, dang, we got some chicken. Like, y'all, anybody want to make some food? And so I was like, oh, I'll make the chicken because y'all always, I'm, I'm the cooker. So, yes, I'm, I'm the chef. So I'm like, yeah, I'll cook it. And then Dominique was like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Dominique had said something about some olive oil. She was like, do y'all got some olive oil? I was like, girl, they do not got no fucking olive oil. Because, mind you, it was just two boys in this apartment. And, um... Simone's friend get up and he go in the cabin and he you know searching through stuff he was like and he pulled out a brand new big old thing of olive oil y'all I felt so fucking stupid he was like olive oil oh yeah we got some olive oil right here y'all when I tell y'all I felt so fucking stupid because I'm like I'm over here judging a book by its cover I felt so dumb I just was like sinking into the couch like fuck man think before you talk that's my problem I don't be thinking before I talk so then y'all I was just like oh my god and someone was like dumb bitch <laughs> I was like oh my god so then Dominique seasoned the chicken right so she seasoned the chicken she put her olive oil she did all the little things that she you know wanted to do to this chicken and then she just all of like she just all of a sudden was just like I don't feel like frying no chicken y'all y'all don't understand how irritated I was like I was so irritated I don't know I'm very passionate about food so I was so fucking irritated because I'm like what was the reason for you to do all of that season the chicken you know what was the reason of doing all of that if you knew you didn't want to fry the chicken I think it was like a seasoning that she wanted and they didn't have it so she was like I'm not frying this chicken like she didn't want to do it because it was like something was missing like maybe some paprika I don't know so I'm just like and she was like uh Jay you can fry it and I'm just like, bitch, I'm not frying shit. You already seasoned it. And I don't cook after people. Like, no, you already seasoned it. I'm not about to be the one responsible for frying this chicken. And it tastes nasty because you seasoned it. I'm like, bitch, you really not going to fry the chicken? I'm like, no, bitch, I'm not going to fry the chicken. You the one that seasoned it. Bitch, you fry it. So she just like, whatever. Bitches is doing too much. Bitches is doing too much. Y'all, it took so much out of me not to just jump over the couch and just knock her ass out. Because I'm just thinking to myself, like, bitch, do not try to turn up in front of niggas. Because I'll wait till we get back to the house and beat your ass. How about that? I'm not the type that's going to turn up in front of no niggas because I am i don't show out in front of niggas. But, bitch, I'll show you what I'm about when we get back to the crib. She just had a whole attitude. She poured her up a shot. She drunk her a little shot. And she just sat on the couch with her feet up. And she was just, like, texting. Y'all, I didn't fry that chicken. Because I'm like, hell no, I'm not frying no chicken after you seasoned it. Like... I was so irritated. Like, I really wanted to fight her on the strength that she said she was going to fight a chicken, and she didn't. Like, I was just so mad about that because I'm just like, girl, what was the fucking reason? Like, what was your reason? So, y'all, I was just like, you know what? Fuck this weird ass bitch. So, I'm texting Simone. I'm just like, girl, I can't wait till this bitch leave. Like, I really cannot wait until this bitch leave. She was like, you? Like, girl, I've been waiting for her to leave since the first night she came. And she left the back door unlocked. Y'all, Simone would not get over that she left that back door unlocked. And I, I, I feel her, though. I really do. Because you just, yeah. 
do it. So, uh, Simone was just like, okay, telling her friend, like, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave. Cause I ain't gonna lie, after, after the whole chicken situation and us like kind of going back and forth, like everybody could feel like the, you know, like the animosity was in the air. Like, just like, yeah, we just gonna leave. I'm gonna take them back to the house and I might just come back over or whatever. I don't know, but I'm gonna just take them back. So, um, we ended up going to the car, me and my sister Tatiana, and we was just like talking for a minute. So then Dominique come and then Simone come. So we go back to the house and she kept saying how the dude in the Range Rover was going to come get her. And y'all, she started packing her stuff. She started getting all her stuff together. She was like, yeah, he going to come get me. And Simone was like, well, don't give him this address. Have him, you know, pick you up up the street, not in front of, you know, my house. So she was like, okay. So I told Simone, I'm just like, girl, if you want to go back to your friend house, we can go. I'm like, she about to leave in like 20 minutes and I ain't finna stop her. If that's what she want to do, what can I do? So she was just like, okay, girl, um, you know, when she leave, we can go back up over there. 20 minutes go by, 30 minutes go by, 40 minutes go by. Y'all, a whole hour go by. And she blowing this man up. Like, where you at? Like, I'm gonna go to bed soon if you don't come. Da, 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 da. Cause y'all, she talked so damn loud on the phone. We all heard what was going on. So I'm just thinking to myself, like, girl, you are really delusional. You over here blowing up some man's phone that you don't, you don't know him, but you sitting here blowing up his phone cause you really want to like, what's going on? It's, it's, it's obviously clear that he's not coming. So. Simone was just like, um, what is she going to do? Because, you know, her flight is like super early. So like, what's she going to do? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. So Simone was just like, well, you know, like it's getting later and I'm getting tired. Like I'm about to, you know, I'm not even going to go to my friend house. Like I'm just going to go to bed. Like, yeah. So Simone go to sleep and y'all. Dominique is like over there just like mad as hell like she is just super mad she mad at the world she not saying much she just irritated she just mad so I'm just like well what are you gonna do Simone went to sleep and that was your only other ride and she's just like I don't know da, 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 da. I'm just gonna probably have to miss my flight and I'm just like no you don't have to miss your flight like you're you're gonna get on that flight like y'all I'm in my mind like girl you gotta get the fuck on like you have to leave I'm ready for you to go so she just like, um, I don't know what to do. He not answering his phone. I don't think he gonna come. I'ma just probably call, you know, my baby daddy cousin to see if she can come pick me up and take me. So I'm just like, yeah, like, you know, like that sounds cool because I doubt if Simone's about to wake up and drive you all the way to San Diego. And that was another thing. I really don't even understand why she would get a flight out of San Diego. Y'all, I was that that was another thing that I was irritated with her about. Cause I'm just like, we came to LA. Why would you not get a flight out of LA like that makes sense so she ended up calling her cousin baby daddy waking her up out her sleep and she was like can you take me to the airport like I need to go to the airport in a couple of hours like do you think you'll be able to do it and so the cousin was just like yeah she'll take her she's sitting there hitting around like dang I don't have no gas money to give her she gonna need some gas money and I don't have nothing to give her and I'm just thinking to myself like girl you was blowing a bag at that store like what do you mean you don't have no gas money to give her so y'all I'm irritated because she was just like I just thought we was gonna come out here and make some money and I'm just so mad. I'm so irritated, y'all. At that point, I was just like, you know what? Here. Here go $20. Here go some gas money. Here you go. Like, y'all, I wanted her to leave because I was just like, I'm irritated with you. My sister's just irritated with you. Like, why you wait till we go on a trip to be weird as fuck? Because, y'all, like I said, Dominique was cool as fuck. Like, we never had no issues, like, at all. But we never went on no trip either. So, I was just like, girl, take the money and go. So the cousin ended up coming to get her and she was just like, she could wait at her house until, you know, it was closer to her, her having to go to um to the airport. So y'all, when she left, it was like a relief, like off my shoulders. Like I just was like so fucking happy because I'm just like, she was annoying as fuck. I was finally able to just like lay down, relax, go to sleep. Like y'all, I was so fucking happy y'all don't understand so the next day <laughs> so now it is monday y'all it is monday this story time is long as hell i might have to make it into a part two y'all because this is already long so then monday come and i was just talking to simone and she was just like okay i know another club if you really want to go dance like i know another club so she was just like um if you want to go we can go today and you can audition so y'all I'm just like, 
I'm nervous because I'm like, dang, I thought I was going to have my little dancing partner. So, y'all, I'm nervous as hell, but I'm just like, you know what? It's either now or never. I'm never going to be able to live my little fairy tale life that I want to live. Like, y'all, I don't know why, what was my obsession with strippers, but I had an obsession with strippers. So, I was just like, okay, I'm going to do it. So, y'all, I had my outfit, my shoes. I had everything ready. Like, Y'all, later on in the day come, we getting ready. I'm doing my makeup. I'm fixing my hair. Like, y'all, I'm trying to look as good as possible. So we get to the club. <laughs> we get to the club and we go in and we just like, okay, like I'm here to audition. They was like, okay, so just one. I'm just like, yeah. And I tell y'all, I was so fucking nervous. Like, I was nervous as fuck. I go in the back because they was like, okay, well, the first song you got to dance with, um, you know, like with your clothes on. But the second one, you got to take off you know everything like i don't know y'all like I, I don't know if i really want to do this like i don't know mind y'all tatiana was supposed to be doing this with us like she was supposed to be you know it was supposed to be me her and i almost said this girl's name it was supposed to be me her and dominique but she chickened out last minute and gonna say she couldn't find her id so she like yeah girl you better do it i'm looking at her like bitch you was supposed to be doing this with me so y'all, I go to the back. My sisters is in the crowd. I go to the back. They was like, okay, you can get dressed and you can wait. You can wait until it's your time to go up. So y'all, I go put on my little cat suit. I put my heels on. I'm in the mirror, like fixing myself. I'm listening to the conversations and shit. Like it was one stripper in there. She was pregnant talking about she gonna be having her baby shower in the club. And I'm just like, this is crazy, but I'm not. I'm just like, you know, stay focused, stay focused. So y'all, I put my outfit on. I go out, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. So this big booty known stripper come out. Like she's a known stripper in LA. So she come out and she looking at me and I'm looking at her, but I'm still like kind of like fixing myself. And so she just turn around and she just start rubbing her butt, like, you know, sticking her butt. And I'm just like, yeah, you think it's fuck like, girl, yeah, you got ass. Like, okay, but you're ugly. Like, okay, I might not have no ass, but I'm cute. So y'all, I get dressed. I go out, I give my sisters my stuff, and I'm just like, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. So I don't think they thought that I really was going to go through with it. That's the funny thing. I don't think they really thought I was going to do it. But I'm just like, you know what? I got to do it. I'm here. So, y'all, it's my turn to go up. I tell the man my name was Jay. They're going to say, come into the stage, Jade. And I'm just like, I did not tell this man, Jade. I told him Jay. So I'm just like, whatever, Jade. So y'all, back in the day, I used to be like, Jade is my stripper name. So it's so funny. So I'm going through the side, going through the little uh, back part, y'all. I'm so nervous. Like I, I wanted to run. Like I'm telling y'all, I just wanted to just start breaking out and just like run up out of the club and be like, I changed my mind. So y'all. I get on stage. The first song they played was, y'all remember the uh the song Versace by Drake and Amigos? So they play that. So it's just like Versace, Versace. Mind you, I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to work the pole. I don't know how to do nothing. So y'all, I'm up there twerking and vibrating and gyrating. Y'all, I'm probably looking stupid as fuck. I know I was looking stupid as fuck. I just, I know, I know. I, nobody has to tell me, I know. And so I told my sisters before I got up there, I was like, don't record. Cause y'all, I don't know why I wanted to live this stripper life, but I didn't want nobody to know. Weird, right? So I'm just like, um, I'm just like in my mind, like, it's okay, girl, you could do this. Like I'm picturing a Drake song in my head and I'm just like dancing. Y'all, I'm just like really just like thinking I'm doing something. So then the next song come on and it was like, fuck the mother hoes, fuck the mother bitches, y'all. And I'm ratchet as fuck. So they said that this next song that comes, the second song, I have to get completely naked. So y'all, I take off my little fishnet outfit and I'm just like over there scared as fuck, like shaking. But the song was on and I'm like, okay, I like the song. So I start picturing myself alone. I'm like, okay, I'm trying not to look over at my sisters both my sisters is like in a phone like they not even looking at me they just like in they phone like looking down because they probably like this bitch really did this like she really went in audition so y'all I'm up there just like twerking and shaking and just doing the most. Like I'm so nervous. Like y'all understand I was so fucking nervous. That fucking two to three minute song seemed like it lasted for 10 minutes. I felt like I was on stage for like 20 whole minutes and i probably was on that stage for like five minutes but y'all it felt like forever oh my god and the song ends y'all i grab my outfit and i just like walk off and they just clapping like oh yeah you know all the other strippers they was just like looking at me like mm, like y'all they was so mad they were just like me mugging like oh this bitch you know like they just looking you know and so 
I grab my stuff. I run off stage. Well, I didn't run, but in my mind I was running. But I, you know, like I walk off stage and I go to the back. And so I put my clothes back on. I go out. And then um the owner comes and he was like, Well, you're hired. Da 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 da. Come back on Thursday. And you know, like you can come here and you know, like you're hired. And I was like, Really? He was like, Yeah, you're you 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 you're, you're hired. You are a new dancer. And he was like, y'all, this is our new dancer, Jade. And like the people at the bar, like some people was clapping. Some strippers was looking like, mm, bitch, you know, some of them clapping, but they just like looking at me crazy as fuck. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I got hired. So I tell my sisters, I'm like, I got hired y'all. And they like, yeah, we saw. And then we leave out the club. And so Simone and Tatiana like, bitch, I can't believe you really did that. I'm like, I can't believe I really did that shit either. Like, I can't believe I'm a stripper now, y'all. Like, I'm really, like, I'm a dancer. Oh, my God. Y'all, I was so fucking happy. It was so sad. But I was, like, the happiest girl ever. And, y'all, it's so much more to this. But I'm going to have to end this story time. It's already long as hell. And if I want to edit and get it out to y'all today, I have to end it. But, y'all, that is the end of my stripper trip with my home girl i don't know what you want to call it like it was just like a i don't know whatever but y'all thanks for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right y'all bye